Hey guys, my name is Andy Gautama Putrada. I am a lecturer for parallel and distributed systems. We have reached meeting four, which is about inter-process communication. This is our fifth video. We are discussing about UDP socket. So UDP socket, like we discussed earlier, is like the UDP in the transport layer, which is connectionless. Uh, what are the processes of a UDP socket when it is sending a message to the receiver? Here we have two streams, the sender stream and the receiver stream. The question is, where do we start from? Do we start from the receiver or do we start from the sender? The answer is, we start from the receiver. Now, if you remember, now, don't remember first. First, what it needs to do, it uh, creates a socket. So here, the first process is to create a socket. Here, the socket is created. And if you remember, in the previous video, a receiver needs to define the port number. The defining of the port number is called binding. So, well, before it does anything, it says bind. And if it is useful, I will add an information here. Binding is defining port number. Now the sender knows the port number. I know the port number. Good for you. And then it continues. The uh, next process is the basic process, which is receiving. So before any data is sent, the receiver has to receive first. That's the logic. So receive from. Why you receive from? Because first it receives the message, secondly it receives from a certain party. Here it blocks. So it is blocked until the data is sent. Now we start the sender. Sender like the receiver creates a socket. First process is to create a socket. And then it doesn't need to be uh, to bind because it can use any sort of uh, uh, port number. So it directly goes to next process which is send to. directly sends the message. Yes. After the message is sent, the job is done, it can close the socket. Here, a message is received, so it can continue and then do something and then also close the socket. So that is the happy ending of our process. What is sent here is the message. Port number and the IP address. So uh, that is the end of our uh, fifth video. In this fifth video, we have successfully discussed about 
uh, UDP socket. In the next uh, video, we will discuss about the next socket, which is uh, TCP socket. Thank you for your attention. Let's meet at the next video.